Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be creating a growing plant system just like in Grow Your Garden. Now this is going to be like a simple system with three stages, like a seed, sprout, and then the full growth, which I'll be demonstrating right now. Firstly, I'm just going to create a place where you could just place your seeds. So I'm going to make a soil type of thing right here. And I'm just gonna make it look like soil. I'm not gonna go too detailed because this is just a simple tutorial. It's not, I don't want it to be that long. But right now I'm going to rename this to soil. And then I'm going to add a click detector. So now like we're gonna do it. So wherever the player clicks, that's where the seed will start growing to the full growth. And now since we got the soil, we're going to make the three stages of the plant. So um, because I'm doing it simple, I'm only going to have three stages. So I'm going to have a little seed, a sprout, and I'm just going to have a full growth plan to get. So I'll give you the process right now. Okay, so these are what I decided to make as my models. But this is the seed, this is the sprout, and this is the full growth. You could I've obviously make these way better. I just did this for simplicity. But right now, what I'm going to do is... I already named this, but make sure you name, name this correctly. So I named the seed, I named it seed. Then I named sprout as sprout. And then the full growth I named as just full with the leaves. So firstly, I'm just going to, with this whole thing, I'm going to group this as a model and just call this full. Same with all these. So with the sprout, group it as a model and then name it what it is. So sprout. Now with soil, you group as a model, and then you name it as seed. Now with all these models, you're going to group all these models into one model. So watch as I do group as a model, and just name this plant growth. So now we have a full seed and sprout, and then just make sure everything is correct with naming wise because that's usually like a big problem you spell something wrong it's not gonna work and then now what we're gonna do is with our models i have already anchored them but make sure you anchor every single model anchor and then these are already anchored and then now i'm gonna click on the mo the grouped model that i did and click on primary part right here and then click the full, the longest part of your model. There. Do this with your seed and sprout. So obviously there's just one, so you just click sprout. And now I click on the seed, primary part, go on seed, boom. Now that should be all good with the this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place this in replicated storage right here. And that should be it for this part. Now we're going to start with the script. Okay, so now regarding the script, what we're going to do is the soil that we previously created where we're going to place the plants or the seeds, click the plus sign here, click script. Now I'm going to have this in the description and in the comment section, so look in there. But copy and paste everything here, and then listen closely because this is important. So right now in replicated storage, I named it plant growth, but right here it's called plant stages. Change that. May change it exactly what it is on your replicated storage. So plant growth. And then as you can see here, we have local is planted equals false. That means that we can only place the seed once. If you want that in your game, then leave this as false. If you want this as true, and then if you want people to place multiple seeds at one time to grow, set this to true. Okay, with this, click detector. We're going to set this to... Right here, seed, we have that correctly named seed, sprout, and then full. We have all these names here, so just make sure that's correct because this will not work. If you want your soil, if it's set too high and you want us to be set like correctly with it, change this height, the Y coordinate to a three or a four. It just makes the seed go higher, which will see the growth better. And right here, we have the wait. Right here, you have to wait uh, five seconds and it will change the stage. But if you want it differently, so change it to 10 or whatever. Okay, now before we test the script, I actually adjusted my script. So I changed the sprout to 2 and then the full to 10 because my tree is so big that it just collides. So I have to make this way bigger. If you have a pretty big tree, I'll just set this to like 
at least eight or higher. But now we're gonna click play right here. And then we're gonna click right here on the soil. And boom, our seed is placed. And then if we wait five seconds, it should go a little bit taller right there. And then now if we wait another five seconds, it should go to the full height, which is this full tree. Now this is all the video. I know that it's like, it doesn't grow realistically, which is part of the simple process that I had. But if you want, I could make a different video. So comment in the, in the uh, comment section about if you want, I could use with vectors to make this grow realistically and also harvesting the tree, like by clicking it and you having it in your inventory. So just let me know.